Hey all, Rest of RV TV, welcome. We're on the road, yay! I just filled up full of diesel, yay! <laughs> Gonna get back on I-40. We're about 20 miles east of Kingman. We're heading up the mountain. Yay, yay, yay! Follow this truck. I-40 East. I thought our first stop, uh, today, it's kind of on the way, about 40 miles up the road, is a town called Seligman. It's got some uh, historic US-66 on there. Thought we'd go check that out first. Maybe drive through Ashport. Just kind of, wherever I can, take the side routes off 40 and see where we end up. I might stay up around uh, Williams again like I did a week or so ago. Maybe boondock up there. No big hurry. I got a lot of days to get where I need to be. So, alright. Here we go. Alright, boy, this section up 40 is rough. It is just beat. Alright, we got a mile to the exit, Slingman. A lot of these little towns, the historic US 66 peels off. See, there's our sign right there. And the, all the downtown areas are kind of decked out. Kind of cool, really. So, why not check them out? It is super windy, too. Really windy. Been shoving, all over, shoving me all over the road. Alright, here we go. Matter of fact, once I get over the overpass here, I'm going to stop. I need to uh, clean off the windshield and uh, I'll set the drone. I'll set the compass. Maybe we might launch. I don't know. It's kind of doubtful. Alright, I'm going to go up here and pull off. I'll be back. All right. It's like a little dirt road here. We're about a mile or so out of town. It's actually a cemetery over there. The van's fully loaded, ready to go. Got the computer, laptop, Wi-Fi, metal detector, food, clothes. We're styling. We're traveling. Alright, I'm going to try to launch a drone real quick. Up we go. And that's gusting. Kind of laid down for a minute, the winds. There's the legman. Pan around. Look how wide open. Not many trees up here. We're, we're probably at about four or 5,000 foot level here. This is snow country. They get snow here. There's I-40. Yeah, I'm getting wind warnings on the controller. I'll have to land soon. But, gives you an idea of the terrain here. That's a road. That's actually US 66. Spur of it. You'll see when we drive through town. Alrighty. Well, I gotta land. I'm getting uh, wind warnings. Then we'll head through town.
was worth a try. Got a little bit of a drone shot. It's just too windy today. They had massive wind gusts yesterday too. Red flag warnings for fire dangers. Then once the winds are over, it's supposed to heat right up, but we won't be here. Yay! <laughs> Last year I filmed this area through here. Actually I took the road up through uh, at Peach Springs. That's on the Indian Reservation. That's off to the right. But we're going to make a left. We're going to cut through town. I love driving this through this little town. I mean, all the old buildings are all fixed up, painted. They all got the Route 66 theme. Can you imagine back in the 50s and 60s? I mean, this was it. Roadkill Cafe right there. <laughs> Here's an the Route 66 Motel. Isn't that cool? Temperature on the van says about... Right now we're at 79. Not bad. Of course it's really windy too. This is definitely small town USA right here. Pretty big trees, look at them. Got good shade. Okay, here's some more motels. Oh yeah, Route 66. Copper cart, kind of like an antique store. nice there's a road runner market get your food another motel all right there's a Texaco look at the old Texaco sign huh? burgers old-time burger place that's it not very big is it <laughs> gotta love it there's a KOA out here at the end of town. I stayed there quite a few years ago. It was okay. You know, right up here, why don't we do this instead of get back on 40? Right here. We'll take 60. This is actually the old highway. We can take it for about 15 miles, then we catch back up with 40. the Burma shave signs look at that <laughs> if you ever drive this road there's several sets of them the old Burma shave they have little sl sayings and slogans <laughs> pretty cool there it is Burma shave oh wow Here's a Route 66 sign. I want to get a picture of this. I'm going to stop here a second. I got something rattling around in the back, too. I got to fix. All right. Be right back. Check out the sign.
too cool for school, huh? <laughs> All right, let's go cruise Route 66. I-40 will be up here about 15 miles. Enjoy the ride. that overpass they had a sign back there for it must have some history to it goes over the railroad here and we're cruising even though it looks flat we're way up in the mountains Temperature still around 78 degrees. Perfect. Better than being down in that desert. Woof. All right, shouldn't have too much farther to I-40. See the trucks over there on 40. Yay, made it. I need to stop here a sec, check the phone. Things going off. Getting a bunch of emails. You guys must be leaving comments. All right, only take a sec. Had over 40 messages already. Goodness. All right. We're going to get on I-40. We're only about five miles up to Ash Fork. We'll do the same thing. We'll cruise through town there, too. If it wasn't for the wind, it'd be perfect. Matter of fact, going out 40 for the next few days, there's quite a few little chunks of uh, Route 66. Maybe we can check some of them out on our way. We got about a thousand miles are gonna go. stop is Ash Fork, Arizona. It's 
Lights at 144. Ash Fork. You can also take 89. It takes you over to Prescott. Chino Valley, all that. That's a pretty area to go through. Exit. What's this sign say? Whoa! Did you see that? Whoa! That thing said Grand Canyon South Entrance was open. Whoa! Holy moly! Alright, let's take the exit here. The south entrance is open. Maybe we can get in up there. I had not planned on that at all. Huh. Gonna have to think about that one. Alrighty, well, let's go check out Ash Fork here. Matter of fact, there's a little shell station off to the right. I'm gonna pull in there and clean the windshield real quick. It's fuel 229. Do you, yeah, for along the interstate, that ain't too bad. About the same as it was down Havasu. Trading post, but I'm not going inside. Truthfully, I'm avoiding crowds, I'm avoiding people as much as possible. All right, let me just pull in there, clean the windshield, and then we'll cruise town. Right, your clean windshield is sponsored by RV or TV. <laughs> okay, this is part of the historic 66. All these little towns. You remember Williams when we drove through up there uh, a week or so ago? That was all part of the Route 66. Now, Ash Fork is a lot smaller than Seligman. I've driven through here before. It's a cute little place. Look at that. You can get a motel room for 29 bucks right there. If you ever want a $29 room, come here to Ashford. Boy, a lot of rock piled up there in the left. Small Town USA, here you go. I'll just go slowly so you can see the stuff. There's Ruby's Deli. These buildings look empty. A few houses, a lot of trees. Busy street to live right on. Be a lot of traffic, I bet. Horse trailers. And there's the post office. These little towns, everybody knows everybody, huh? <laughs> oh, wow, check it out. Is it open? The Oasis Lounge in Ash Fork is open. Big open sign. So if you need a cold one, there you go. Stop at the Oasis Lounge in Ash Fork. Too cool. 
Well, that's about it. That's about it for town here. Not very big. And of course, a dollar store. They're in every little town. Restaurant. Looks like a little business office building there and another gas station. Right, well, let's get back on 40 Williams. It'd be the next stop. I really don't want to film. I just filmed up there. I was thinking about going a little farther past that campground I stayed at last time. But you know what? That sign back there said uh, Grand Canyon South entrance is open. And I'm looking down here and I got almost a full tank of fuel. <laughs> bunch of camera batteries what do you think think we ought to hit the Grand Canyon I bet not the whole thing's open but man if you could just get in it we could go up and check it out I think we should been a little bit of a long day but it's still pretty early it's only 1 30 in the afternoon so from here it's about 80 miles up there they'll put me up there before three heck yeah let's do it grand canyon here we come yay Now we're starting to get up in the pines. We're we're climbing. We're definitely climbing. I think Ashford, Seligman, they're all about 5,000, 5,800 feet back there. Now we're getting up in the world right now. Okay, Williams, next three exits. I want the third exit. We're gonna take the third one out of here. I really had to fumble around with this camera. <laughs> all right, not this exit. This is where all the gas stations are. This is Williams, off to the right. Grand Canyon Railroad, and all that's right off to the right here. Which they're still shut down. I think it's all going to be coordinated. You know, and I checked a couple days ago, the canyon was still closed. But that sign said open. The south entrance is open. Alright, we want the next exit. We're only about 30 miles from Flagstaff. And I even thought about going a little closer to Flagstaff to camp tonight. But, change up plans. <laughs> Alright, here's our exit. Canyon. Look at that. Sign was pointing our way. <laughs> yep. 
I'm gonna beat that fifth wheel there. Look at that. Too bad, buddy. I'm gonna get there first. <laughs> now about three miles up here on the right, where is where I camped a week or so ago. And I was thinking about that, but nah. Let's go up the canyon. You know, there's a campground up there in that little town up there too. I forget the name of that town. It's that village. I think they call it Grand Canyon Village. I think there's another name for it. They got a couple campgrounds there. We'll check it out. We'll see what's open. See if we can't see that big canyon. Yay. Be interesting. There's that KOA off to the left, that lake. Man, this road's beat up. Look at this. Well, fashion your seat belts. We're on the road. We're going to be on the road for about two weeks. Then I go back to Arizona. Going to come back only for a few days. And then we head north on the big, the big adventure for the summer. So this is our mini run right here. Hope you enjoy it. Next video. You never know. The journey continues. Talk soon.